Okay, we're going to be looking at one of my mini kits in my main bug out bag. This just happens to be in a uh, Game Boy case that I got from Goodwill for like two dollars. It's a pretty sturdy case. It's got a zipper all the way around and it's even got a strap. So open it up here. And this has a bunch of random items that don't really necessarily match together. Okay, so first off we've got a uh, little snap razor uh, utility knife so that I always have a really sharp cutting tool. We have a yo-yo fishing reel which I spray painted camouflage. We have a uh, survival fishing kit, which I've actually um, added a lot of items to. So we'll open that up here. This tape just comes off. So let's see. Got two bundles of six pound test uh, fishing line got a couple liters some uh, salmon eggs I think they are another roll of fishing line two round bobbers another bobber some various lures some dry lures shaped like insects some more lures we've got some uh, split shot in there and then some various hooks and sinkers and a leader so that is the uh, fishing kit We've got a baggie with some dust masks taped shut here. Some dust masks and a whole bunch of pre made snares. These are made out of military trip wire. And I added these little keychain rings to the end so you can just tie these off with a piece of uh, string or paracord and they're ready to go. You don't have to worry about trying to weave a piece of, piece of cord through these little loops. It's all ready to go. I think there's about 10 of them right there. I have a spoon with a straw and a frog gig and a carbide and ceramic knife sharpener. It's also got the diamond sharpener for serrated or uh, knife, or I'm sorry, saws. And this is a big bundle of bank line with a ranger band wrapped around it. And I tied it on to some little rubber strap I found. It's got these little uh, metal rings on it. I don't know what those are for, but it's just something useful that I threw in there. Get the Edge Rust Eraser. It's pretty nice if you don't have oil out in the field and your knives start getting rusty. You just rub the rust off just like you would erasing with a pencil eraser. Then we do have a mechanical pencil. Black Sharpie. This is just a uh, toothbrush I believe. 
And these are a bunch of zip ties. And a plastic silverware set. I like this because it's got this uh, knife with little serrated edges. And even though it's plastic, it's pretty sharp, so you could actually saw and cut meat with that. Multi tool from uh, CRKT, I believe. I think this is the Zilla tool. Click that button. This is a really nice set of pliers. It's the thing I like the most about this tool. It does have screwdriver, which you can pop out, put it in the end down there. Uh, it's also got a knife with a serrated edge. It's not a bad knife, actually. It's a belt clip. It's got another uh, Phillips head screwdriver. So it's a four in one tool. Like I said, it's pretty nice. Duct tape. Uh, another thing of duct tape. Just black. A little three blade pocket knife. Done a lot of skinning with this knife. It's really sharp. Just the notepad for the goes with the pencil. And a, a mini mag light. LED Pro. I want to say this is uh, around 250 lumens. It's a really bright light. Especially for the size. And then last but not least, a large Ziploc bag with some aluminum foil in it. So that is the contents of this little mini kit. If you like my videos, I've got a lot of other uh, bug out bag and survival related items and reviews, guns and knives and uh, all kinds of stuff. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out the other things I've got. Thanks for watching.